Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Clark. I am the founder and CEO of Clark College Consulting and Clark College Funding, the author of two wonderful college books, The College Interest Game Plan and The College Aid for Middle Class America. And over the last 10 years, I've worked with over a thousand families with helping, helping them select, apply and finance college. And today I wanted to talk about uh, some myths that I wanted to debunk. And the first myth that I want to debunk with you today is the one that if you just make too much money that you're not going to qualify for aid. Uh, that is certainly not true. I have parents that are worth over a million dollars qualify for financial aid. It's just a matter of what type of aid that they're going to qualify for. They're not going to necessarily qualify for need-based aid, but that's not the only type of aid that's out there for you. There is need-based aid, there's merit-based aid, there's the college's own money, and then there's outside scholarships. And so what we need to do is find out which type of aid that your family is going to qualify for and go after that particular aid. And you might think, well, I'm not going to qualify for uh, need-based aid. Well, if, if you apply to uh, an expensive private school, you might qualify for need-based aid because of the price of college. So uh, that is a myth that you certainly should uh, look into more and understand that you might qualify and you probably will qualify for some type of aid, whether it's need, merit, or the college's own money or some outside scholarships. All right, the next question. It costs me more to go out of state than to stay in state. Uh, and that's not necessarily true as well. Uh, a lot of people think I'm just going to apply to colleges in state because of the price. Well, in, in some cases that is the case, but not in all cases, because with increased tuition rates, many states, many states is cheaper actually to go out of state. Uh, a lot of states now have tuition waivers where you well they, they will reduce the cost of college if you know if they're recruiting students from other states. Um, also, colleges offer scholarships uh, for athletes and for merit. We talked about that for certain majors. Um, for leadership activities, they will give out scholarships and many, many other categories. So my advice is don't narrow your field down just to in-state. Look at out-of-state colleges as well when you're applying to schools. Next myth, it costs me more to go to a private school than a public school. Uh, I had a student last year that went to Wake Forest, which is a private school here in North Carolina. It was cheaper for her to go to Wake Forest than it was for her to go to Chapel Hill. Why? Because she qualified for the amount for a lot of merit aid, merit aid from Wake Forest that reduced the cost of Wake Forest below what it would have cost her to go to Chapel Hill. And so in not all cases uh, are private schools more expensive than state schools. But you remember that first question we talked about where you have to align the type of aid that you qualify for. Number one, you need to figure out what that is. Is it need? Is it merit? Is the college's own money? And then find those colleges that will give you the money that you qualify for. So let me give you a quick example. Let's say that you are a need-based aid client. You're going to qualify for some need-based aid. Well, there are private schools out there that need 100% of your need-based aid, 100%. So if you apply to those schools and you need a lot of aid, they're going to give you a lot of aid. And in those cases, it's going to be cheaper, more than likely, for you to go to a private school than a state school. Some private schools, on the other hand, don't give out a lot of need-based aid. They give out a lot of merit-based aid. So if you qualify for a lot of merit-based aid and you apply to those colleges that give out a lot of merit-based aid, again, they can reduce the cost of college to what it would cost to go in-state or maybe even below. So again, I would look at private schools as well as state schools on your college list. But again, just make sure it's a good fit, not only academically, but also socially and financially. And if you have questions about that, feel free to call me or email me and we can, we can talk about that. All right, next question. Uh, outside scholarships help reduce what you pay for out-of-pocket out of pocket for college. Uh, that's not necessarily true. So when colleges are, are looking at outside scholarships, what, what do I mean by outside scholarships? Outside scholarships meaning money that's not coming from the colleges themselves, but coming from outside the college. So nonprofit organizations and corporations, you know, that give out scholarships to students every year that are not associated with the college whatsoever. So some colleges will say, if you get an outside scholarship, we want to know about it. Or some scholarship uh, organizations or nonprofit organizations or corporations give the money directly to the school on your behalf. And so the colleges will receive that check. Let's say it's $10,000 check from this organization 
to the school. Well, the school will look at it and go, hey, since you're getting this money from somewhere else, so it's an outside resource, we're going to reduce your aid accordingly. So the college might go, you know what, instead of us giving you $10,000 of need, you're getting $10,000 from somewhere else. So we're going to reduce our aid package from us since someone else has already given you $10,000. So they're not adding on to it, right? Not all colleges do that, but more and more and more are. There are a few colleges out there that will say, hey, you're getting $10,000 from an outside resource. Well, we're going to add that to your financial award letter. We're going to add it to what the college is, is giving you. So my suggestion is when you go on these college visits, you want to ask them, you know, how do you how does the financial aid office uh, see or use an outside scholarship? Do they add on to it or do they subtract my financial aid accordingly? So it's a very, very important question to ask when you go visit these schools. Next question, uh, financial aid. Uh, financial aid is only helps with tuition. That is not the case. So if you're a financial aid officer or if you're a financial aid administrator, you work in a financial aid office, for example, when they're looking at the, the financial aid, the, the financial aid formula is the cost of attendance, meaning how much it costs to go to that school for one year, minus how much they think you can, pay, you can afford to pay, and that's called your expected family contribution number. So that cost of attendance is just not tuition. Your cost of, of, of attendance is the addition of tuition, of room and board, of books, of transportation costs, of personal expenses, miscellaneous expenses, and they add it all together. So when financial aid is looking at in, in completing your financial aid award letter, they're looking and adding in all the expenses, just not tuition. Okay, so colleges understand you need to get get um, have personal expenses, so they add that into the cost of attendance. So they understand you're buying toothpaste and pizza, for example, and they'll put that in the cost of attendance, right? So financial aid covers all of those costs is basically what I'm telling you. So what are what are your takeaways? Uh, make sure when you're picking colleges, make sure it's not only a good social fit and not only a good academic fit, but make sure it's a good financial fit. You need to understand the different types of financial aid, which type of financial aid that your family, your son and daughter is gonna qualify for, and then target those colleges that give out those types of financial aid. And that way you can reduce or reduce the, the cost of college uh, accordingly. Uh, thank you so much. Keep those questions coming. Again, my name is Ryan Clark. I look forward to hearing from you. Have a wonderful week, a wonderful weekend, and I look forward to seeing you next week. All right, bye-bye.